on this week's episode to talk about Napoleon. And other pop culture news from the week. This week, you're going to talk about two French pieces. One, uh, two, by American directors. And uh, famous directors, celebrated directors, talented and, and uh, uh, accomplished directors. Mm. Anyways, uh, we're going to talk about Napoleon with uh, Joaquin Phoenix and Vanessa Kirby by Ridley Scott uh, uh, for uh, Apple. Columbia. Columbia Apple. Columbia? Columbia. Mm. Columbia Apple. And um, the killer with David uh, Michael with Fassbender, Michael Fassbender to the Swinton. Any any other familiar face? That guy from the other thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There were several yeah. people from other other things, but those those, those are the big ones. Yeah, uh, by David Fincher. Uh, Dave, David Finch. No, David Fincher. Uh, and for Netflix, uh, mm. one the French. Uh, emperor, general, conquered like half of the theoretically the known world, uh, and the other one, a French comic book adapted to the screens. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's start with Napoleon. We just okay. got out of the theaters, IMAX, good crowd. Mm -hmm. uh, well, it's Wednesday. Uh, um, the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. Before Thanksgiving. So, like, Really and good timing on the release, and I could totally see there's some 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 kids there that look a lot like college kids that came home from the weekend mm -hmm. for the for the holiday, but either way, it was a good crowd. Yeah, uh, for uh, a good movie. Yeah, it's definitely the best crowd we've seen on a weeknight for a while. Yeah, I think. What we saw this week? Uh, Marvels. No, no, that was the week before. Oh, the last week we stayed we stay in. We saw, we oh, saw that's right. streaming movies. Yeah, but yeah. But yeah, definitely for the Marvels. Uh, that is, oh, is yeah. only falling apart and crashing. We mm -hmm. might talk about that. We might not. Anyways. Yeah. We've uh, Napoleon. Mm -hmm. uh, is starring Joaquin Phoenix. Joaquin Phoenix is splendid. He's, he's really good at everything he does. Yeah. That's and not a surprise. He's, he's, he's playing his second emperor. If you, if you discount that's the Joker. That's right. The emperor of laugh. <laughs> That's on me. Anyways, uh, but but biopic, historical drama. Uh, drama. You don't, you don't. Why not historical? There, I, I just feel like a lot of liberties were taken, and a lot even of if like it was not historical. Was hysterical. Major, <laughs> like I said, like a lot of like major important things were were left. Okay, out. Not, not talking about omissions. So I would say was historical any? drama. It was. It was there any uh, besides on missions? Mm -hmm. uh, was there any uh, addition or change that drastically uh, compromise the movie? That's a good question. That like drastically compromise. Yeah, I mean, besides on missions, like like additions, additions. Did he okay, additions, I, I personally cannot think of any. The huge caveat that I'm not an expert, and it's been like 15 years since I was studying French history in college. Um, so, so with that major caveat, it's more the omissions that like okay. really bother me. So questions, uh, so, without spoiling, oh, well, we could spoil, this is an old story. If you don't know yeah. Napoleon, he was a French guy. It happened that, 200 that, years ago. Yeah. It's Anyways, on you. We're not gonna spoil much, but we're gonna mm -hmm. talk a little bit about the movie. Yeah. Uh, the movie was was beautifully done. I don't yes. know how they dress or how they're supposed to look, but I feel like it looked nice. That one, yeah, it looked spectacular. Sets awesome, costumes like oh my gosh, taking my breath away. I feel like he spent a lot of time watching Jacques-Louis David, Jacques-Louis David, who's a, a contemporary painter who like painted, captured a lot of these moments of the French Revolution and the Napoleonic years. Um, um, and he like he has a couple like little cameos. If you're paying attention, you'll see him like in a corner, kind of at the bottom of the frame, drawing and painting things. 
um, which if you're me is extremely exciting. Um, so yeah, it looked fantastic. And there were several moments where I was like, that, I like, I know that painting. I've seen that painting in the Louvre, like that. It, so costumes, stunning. And I really hope they get an Oscar nomination for it because so spectacularly done from Josephine's dresses to Napoleon's increasingly extravagant uniforms to like the French army out at and you even know, the hiding in Australitz, like even the colors, so good. How, so good. how he wears blue in the beginning, at the end he wears mm -hmm. green, right? Which I yeah. noticed, I noticed in, in, in paintings mm -hmm. and photographies and videos from the time. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> photographs. Anyways, the cinematography <coughs> is, is really well, good directing mm -hmm. and acting. It's, uh, I, feel, I feel like, uh, I don't know, not, not so much about the music, like, like you mentioned, you can talk about it, yeah. but the soundtrack was not like, as, as you know, uh, it's like it's like great uh, battle scenes, like horse and bat, like beautifully done. How uh, as as Hitler Scott, uh, as you know, as you used to see mm -hmm. Hitler Scott doing, he's he's very talented, uh, doing that. But uh, I can still hear uh, uh, the, the 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 soundtrack, the battle scenes on Gladiator. You know, mm -hmm. Hans Zimmer made you know like. So it still plays in my head. Yeah. This one, uh, it was uh, it, it wasn't that big of a deal. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't like, you know, I I didn't leave the the theater uh, uh, wanting to fight for France or freedom, uh, freedom, but not France. <laughs> Anyways, uh, 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 you know, like Gladiator is like it's such a uh, remarkable, such a great soundtrack, uh, combined it with the, with a great movie by him yeah so i just want to make a just a note nota bene i went into this with extremely high expectations i love french history i majored in history minored in french i am a big fan of ridley scott and so when you say you're gonna make a movie about napoleon and you call it napoleon and like the trailer was incredible i went into this with very 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 high expectations so i'm a little disappointed but to be fair i was expecting a lot um and they did do a lot very well. The soundtrack I thought was weird. We started out with, there was so much attention to historical detail in the visuals. It was kind of jarring to have like Edith Piaf and then Chopin and then some like random chanting stuff and then some more like early classical chamber ensemble with like harpsichords and strings yeah, and me, then oh no nope, random dude chanting again for me the chanting sounded sounded odd because, yeah. because it sounded native uh, I, I wouldn't say native yeah. american but indian but like, or or, or uh, yeah. the guys in australia what they call it the, the oh yeah like Abra the aborigines yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, it sounded like very <coughs> native it's like i don't think europe has those anymore did, yeah <laughs> or like i don't know byzantine came to like it just it didn't sound french or classical or romantic I don't know so so the soundtrack was kind of all over the place every now and then there'd be a moment of like okay there's a standard like modern film score it was kind of all over the place that I'm not sure that I understand or agree with those choices especially given the music available to, like contemporary music available to them Mozart adored Napoleon up until he declared himself Emperor feel free to fact check me on this but he, he adored Napoleon up until he declared himself emperor. And when Napoleon declared himself emperor, Beethoven was crushed. So, like, you have... Wait, 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 wait. Mozart or Beethoven? Beethoven. You said Mozart first. Did I? Yes. Oh, no. Oh, I'm so sorry. Beethoven was a huge fan of Napoleon up until he declared himself emperor. And so, anyway, so, like, they're contemporaries. So you have Beethoven's work to draw on. Or, like, if you want contemporary things or contemporary inspiration, right? Like, the greatest symphony writer of all time, arguably. So, like, I don't know. I, I, I don't entirely agree with those soundtrack choices. Yeah. And again, and again, it's the hope... It's a discussion that could be had. The hope about uh, Beethoven thing, it could be, you know, maybe uh, the director and the, and the musician behind are aware of, oh, this is Napoleon... Beethoven, we're gonna do that. It's like they didn't want to go to the, you know, where everybody expected. I don't know. That's that's fair. That's fair. But, but that's, that's like that's like tit tit peeking. Nit uh, peeking. Oh, nit peeking. Yeah, no it's tits not, involved. It's not tit. Like nit. Tit peeking is nope. like when nits. you pick like. Okay, nit peeking. Um, <coughs> that's right. It didn't have to be Napoleon or Beethoven, but I wasn't crazy. There were also moments where like the music was kind of like 
silly and lighthearted where I felt like the scene needed like a little bit more weight or gravitas. Like, yeah. um, okay. So, uh, what, what else can, can you talk about? It's uh, it covers it covers a good good amount. It doesn't cover his like childhood and youth. It's like mm -mm. forget about that. It's like straight from from his 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 uh, humble beginnings as a captain, but just straight out of uh, a big victory, mm -hmm. parallel to to what's going on in France, the French Revolution, mm -hmm. and and the history of France and history of Napoleon mm -hmm. go uh, side by side, go together until the very end. Yeah, yeah, and that is, it is very interesting. I feel like as this like settles in, the more, the more I think about it, the more we talk about it, it's really the omissions that bother me because the first half of the movie, we're just spending a lot of time with his relationship with Josephine, which was important, but we don't really get to see like how Josephine affected him beyond him just being like really into her we don't really get to see her like shape him or influence him or but did she help him i mean they said he like there's dialogue that indicates that but we don't oh, really like line see is... it happening yeah and like he said that like this movie is about their relationship but like i don't know um so yeah Anyway, but I feel like it completely glosses over so much of who Napoleon was or why he matters or why he was so significant. In the second half of the movie, I think we finally get to see the Napoleon who, like, conquered Europe and had the great empires of the world terrified. And, if anything, you if know. anything, uh, uh, I, was, I was born and raised in Brazil. Mm -hmm. uh, I learned about... How the the crown of Portugal mm -hmm. fleed Portugal yeah. to to Brazil, the colony uh -huh. uh, afraid of Napoleon. He was coming. He was yeah. coming. Like, we out. <laughs> yeah. Like, they, they, I mean, if 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 France is known for losing battles, for always surrendering that stuff, Portugal does not get involved. They, like, nope, nope, nope. <laughs> they, yeah. they, they flee like. Nothing is gonna. So yeah. the crowd of Portugal went to Brazil, uh, uh, and and yeah, that was big. Was huge. If anything, they they mention uh, in dialogues that he did conquer Italy and Austria mm -hmm. and and uh, what else? Poland, I think. Poland. Uh, uh, anyways, they mention all that, mm -hmm. and yeah, that was a little bit like he basically conquered half of the, the known world by by the mm -hmm. time he was like no small potatoes. And, and and made decisions and created laws and, and codes and everything that like have had a lasting impact on Europe and and on the world. Yeah. So, like the metric system was his thing. Like he didn't come up with it, but he's the one who was like, "Yeah, this is what we're doing from now on, folks." Oh, what was it before? A different imperial. Oh, system, the imperial. Different, yeah. Oh, okay. Different made so, up stuff. So 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 yeah. Of course, they 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 they, they mentioned that. There's, there's some references to that, mm -hmm. but. Again, it's because the focus was was uh, a lot about, and there's and there's a lot of uh, dialogues, not dialogues. There's a lot of uh, narration of letters between mm -hmm. him and Josephine. So that took took uh, importance. That was uh, sort of mm -hmm. the focus. So they didn't mention the fact that you know he yeah. he, he made the metric a thing, or he he kicked, he he caused fear of. In, uh, royals uh, for the countries to flee mm -hmm. to never come back. And yeah, in Portu Portugal actually went back uh, uh, to Portugal, but but uh, uh, yes, some of these things, yeah, I kind of felt. But, but it's understandable since the decision was to to yeah to focus on his personal life and his inner uh, desires, aspirations, even though yeah, anyways. Yeah, and I, I get, like, this is a massive story, um, and it would be so difficult to dramatize parts of it in a way that, like, you would actually want to watch in a movie and, like, to, to capture everything, to give everything justice. Like, I, I get that there are, like, some really tough decisions to make. I just would have made different ones, but I'm not really <laughs> Scott, and that's okay. And uh, uh, interesting uh, uh, this directing decisions, uh, uh, casting and, 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 and uh, set designing and... and photography mm -hmm. included in the beginning uh, uh you can notice that they cast a lot of really tall people a lot of really tall mm. people <clears throat> so he looks small but as the movie uh, uh, uh 
glow, uh, the movie glows, you know, that starts like uh, disappearing. It's like he grows, like his character grows and uh, yeah. uh, uh, giantesque himself. Is that, is that? Giant, it is now. giant himself or giant grandize, grandize uh, himself. Uh, not not like on the self uh, per se, but you know mm. history make him uh, uh, as a giant. To the end, if you quite don't notice, but in the beginning, it's very it's very interesting mm. how they do that uh, on how he looks small uh, because everybody else looks tall. They do it really effectively with costumes too. A lot of his rise to power is. is you know, like I said, like kind of glossed over, implied, but you can you can see his costumes become increasingly ornate. Like his collars get bigger. There's more and more gold embroidery on him. Like there's there's like clues like that that show you. Like even though they haven't said like, oh now like, well I guess we do see him get promoted to general, but like now he's a beloved public figure. Or now they don't like like outright say or explain a lot of what was happening but you can see it through the costumes i can't say enough about the costumes they were spectacular i love it so much and it's it's interesting on how how the it's 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 a gigantic movie but at the same time it's it's very personal mm -hmm. it's about him josephine he leads uh, he lead the uh, french empire to to victories he conquer half of the world mm -hmm. but it's always him. Nobody, Nobody around him. None of the characters around him. His 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 lieutenants, his uh, captains, advisors. commanders, advisors. Mm -hmm. They it's like they barely there. So they have barely have lines. Uh, we don't know their names. It's like focus on him, and and it's it's, it's very interesting how mm -hmm. this gigantic movie you you focus on the on the one character. Uh, and in an effective way, mm -hmm. because he, he has supporting characters, but it's mostly him, and, and yeah. yeah, and he goes to to the battlefield, uh, even to the end for war cost. Anyways, yeah. one uh, thing you <clears> have <throat> to know that is not clear in the movie, and drove me nuts because it's my favorite story about Napoleon. At the coronation, this is not a spoiler because we all know he was crowned as the emperor. You think it's not clear? I don't think it's clear. Napoleon, like, his coronation as emperor, like, the whole ceremony, it was very deliberately orchestrated to be this massive power play and this massive flex against, like, the rest of Europe. He forced the Pope to come so <coughs> to crown not, him. So it's not clear that he forced the Pope? Because it's kind of clear there is a Pope. I don't think it's that. Like, I don't know... If I, as in, like growing up as a Protestant American, I don't know that I would recognize that. Like, this isn't just any Catholic. This is the Pope. But uh, about around that time, would wouldn't like all the royalties of Europe mm -mm. bring the Pope? No. Mm -mm. Okay. Nope. No. In fact, most of the French monarchs were. It was. It would have been. That's a bishop. Or of the... uh, uh, Reims, I think. Huh? And then Reims. Yeah, so there's a cathedral there where they had the ampule with the oil that was it's a whole thing oh. in england is archbishop of canterbury um okay. anyway so yeah that wasn't like this is a totally normal thing and of course the pope didn't want to do this but napoleon was powerful enough that he was able to force the pope to come and so then at the last second oh hitler was the pope right what hitler he, he it was the pope that that uh, uh supported him and came to talk to him something like that oh yeah Okay, not crown because he wasn't no. crown. But anyways, go, keep going. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and I don't want to spoil the rest of it. It's just like really important that you know that that was the Pope. Just let's be very clear about that. Yeah. And then there's other cool stuff that happens. That scene is actually really accurate and really cool. Okay. Anything else? Nope. I'll stop talking now. Yeah. Uh, Napoleon is a Apple movie. Therefore, it's on Apple TV Plus. Mm -hmm. Also in the theaters, you can watch it on IMAX, and it's it's better on IMAX because the movie is gigantic. Yeah. And there's like big battle scenes, big big beautiful mm -hmm. photography. Uh, Joaquin Phoenix is doing a terrific job. Vanessa Kirby being. Very beautiful and talented and kind of sort of typecast because she's beautiful and she's kind of devious, like she was a Mission Impossible, but also tragic, she like she was. Was she devious in this 
I, I, I mean, you, you said, said you said you mentioned uh, 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 after the movie that they had they both had a lot of affairs. Yeah, I felt yeah. like she was devious because he he kind of poured his heart to her in the beginning and married mm -hmm. her. And then as first opportunity he leaves, oh, yeah. she betrays him. Yeah. So she was kind of devious. But he did the same thing. Yeah, yeah but at the, the, that point we didn't know. I guess so. He confessed but, after. Yeah. But anyways, Napoleon, Apple movie mm -hmm. uh, uh, on Apple TV Plus uh, by Columbia, Ridley Scott, working Phoenix, Vanessa Kirby, mm -hmm. uh, on theaters, IMAX. Uh, I want to say select the screens, but if you had the chance, you'll see it. If not, yeah, it's see well it worth it. on Apple. Mm -hmm. The other French property we watch is a French comic book uh, named The Killer. Uh, in this case, a Netflix movie mm -hmm. with Michael Fassbender. And it was good. It was very interesting. Um, yeah, I enjoyed it. There's a lot of narration. I thought it was mo like most of the talking was his narrating, right? Yeah. At least, at least in the beginning. A lot of a lot of the talking. Yeah. Which, Which is, is a very, very... The Punisher does that beautifully in the comic books. Mm. You know, it's like, Punisher, War Journal. I follow these guys to the warehouse. It's like, yeah. and, and it has that vibe. And in, in this case, he's he's an assassin. He's a killer. And he has a... Uh, what's it called? Ch chant? Chanting? Mantra? Mantra. Mm. He has this mantra. It's like, never, uh, never improvise plan everything it's, yeah it's kind of cool uh it's very good and i feel like that it the, without spoiling anything the beginning narration is so effective it kind of lulls you into this like almost the same a similar state of mind just like calm methodical mechanical and then like this twist happens and because like this narration is like lulled you into being right where he is like you're as shocked as he is and it's i thought it was very effectively done um and really sets up the whole movie yeah Be so well beautifully photographed directed by david mm -hmm. david finch fincher uh and fassbender is, is, is terrific and it's uh, not spoiling much it's 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 cool it's yeah it's like it it, it, it uh, i mean like comic like great comic books do like great i guess movies and and books uh do as well uh it, it started on this inside of this narrative universe it, it doesn't explain how it started it, it jumps in the middle mm. with one character in this universe that has uh their rules and their and their intricities mm -hmm. and he goes to to different characters exploring aspects of that universe until the very end and and the conclusion if it's the conclusion i don't know they may be they may do more. John Wick was a perfect example of that. Yeah. And but this one is is, is excellent. You if mm -hmm. you into, uh, uh, it's not quite a thriller, but it's is is uh it has like the, the kind of the the aftertaste, the, the feeling of a yeah. thriller. Uh, but could you say it's an intellectual action film? Jeez, I don't know. that sounds boring. No, this one is is fun. Uh, has action mm -hmm. and um, yeah i don't know what else to talk about yeah. until, i don't want to spoil talking anything about the, the, the plot yeah and and yeah the killer on netflix mm -hmm. the, oh there's a soundtrack we can talk about the soundtrack the soundtrack by mm. uh who is that oh gosh uh i'm sorry mm. um what is the soundtrack is a is a the Smiths? No. Is the Smiths? I, I think it's the Smiths. Okay. Let's find out. Yeah, talk, talk about, about the movie while I look this. Uh, Tilda Swinton. Tilda Swinton. Tilda Swinton. Was, I mean, this goes without saying. She was fantastic. And her character shows up, like, a lot of, a lot of things, like, click into place and come together really beautifully. So, so apparently this was, has been a passion project for David Fincher. So for 20 years so, so he wanted to do this for a long time uh the comic book by alexi nolan and mm -hmm. luke giacomo uh, okay. uh cool. the alias he used different aliases in yes. the movie and there's a fun fact if you, you might recognize some of those yeah. names so uh, keep your eye open for that mm -hmm. uh, his costumes are really interesting everything the Smiths, very thoughtful. yes the soundtrack is an english work by the Smiths. 
and it's it's yeah. uh, it's cool. It's good music. He's 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 a he's a lone wolf. He works alone, and he he's always like in this mantra, like talking to himself, mm -hmm. like never improvise, be be shot. That's actually a beautiful uh, uh, mantra, mm -hmm. uh, on, like on how to achieve the the objective. Mm -hmm. So and he talks to himself, and he he says like right in the beginning of the movie that he listened to music to abstract to get out of yeah. the world to focus, and he's pretty much always listening uh -huh. to the killers. Uh, what, what else? The Smiths. The Smiths. Yep. <laughs> the movie. Is Although the killers would have been an yeah. obvious choice here. <laughs> yeah. Um, the oh, just the, just a thought about like narration. It. It, they use it really effectively to help you get into his head, because you know one of the the um, the challenges of like a, a film, like in a book, the author can say like they can just tell you what the person's thinking, right? Whether it's like writing out their internal dialogue or just saying they can just tell you how this person feels. Whereas in a film, they have to show you. But at this movie, they really use that narration, I think, very effectively. It's yeah. not distracting or overwrought or. Yeah, anything and, like that's very well done. And it's very hard to, to use narration in a movie properly because mm -hmm. most of the time it's used. It's it's wrong. It's not well done. Yeah, it this can be one, distracting, annoying. And this one is is is, is well done. Yeah, and it just pulls you right in. Yeah, yeah, it's it's up there as far as narrators go. I'd say it's up there with uh, uh, Ron Howard and Arrested Development. <laughs> it's just like oh, quality narration. Yeah, but, but different. <laughs> <It's> totally different. <laughs> <laughs> totally different, but in terms of like like quality, it's like mm, yeah. Anyways, Excellent. the killer, uh, Michael Fassbender, uh, directed by David Fincher. Mm -hmm. It's available on Netflix. You should watch it. Yeah, it's well worth it. Okay, let's move to some music news. Grammy nominations are out, and uh, Senator Bernie Sanders has been nominated. Oh, uh, has been a, a funny <coughs> couple of weeks for him. First of all. He's 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 an abject creature. He's a weird uh, person. Uh, he wrote a book mm -hmm. uh, called "Why It's Okay to Hate Capitalism," right? He was selling that book for ninety so bucks. What? Like, yeah, it was expensive, and people were buying it. But it's like you hate capitalism, and you write about it. Why don't you give it for free? You pseudo communist or like anyways at cost or something oh my gosh <laughs> yeah no oh, like he, what AOC he was selling, she made selling like sweaters. sweatshirts yeah no she was selling sweaters too no uh, uh it was Ocasio Cortez yeah, oh yeah. the mittens mittens for a fortune was he selling them he or was, was it just like them. directing no, 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 no. people was, to the woman was, who no, made them no, for no. him he, I mean yeah he, someone was making for him he was selling making yeah. money out of it but yeah Ocasio Cortez was selling like like $60 Sweaters, sweatshirts, and t-shirts. Uh, like something one percent kill the rate, some, some yeah. something like that. Anyways, so uh, uh, so he was nominated to a Grammy. For did he that. like? Did he record? He, yeah, oh, uh, yeah. I, I was recorded. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Uh, uh, of his book, which I heard a piece. I was like, oh my god. He has a unique voice. How can I don't know if I can listen to a whole than, book. Yeah, it's like. But I do enjoy anyways. his speeches. But uh, but he does he does not want. Uh, uh, a Grammy alone. He wants a Nobel Peace Prize because he stopped a fight. At the That's right. <laughs> oh my gosh. How bad is it when like Bernie Sanders is the voice of reason and <laughs> and, and calm yeah. in the Senate? Oh my gosh. This 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 uh, uh, this uh, witness the this union rep was mm -hmm. was invited not invited who was uh, subpoenaed to Summoned, be yeah. uh, uh, at Senate. And the guy before uh, said crap about this senator from Oklahoma, mm -hmm. who's a MMA fighter. Yeah, which apparently this dude did not know about. And uh, or maybe, I mean, he knew he was a short guy. He was like, "You're a short, useless guy," and he is a short guy. But uh, it's like, "You're usually short a guy. I'll beat you up any time, any place." So when the senator had the chance to talk to him, it's like, "You, you have a big mouth when you are yeah. on the internet." You said. Uh, any time, any place. What about now? Uh, the guy, yeah. so what about now? It's okay, let's go. Yeah, <laughs> and like, get your butt up. Oh. No, 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 you can't leave out the fact that they said, you get your butt up. And then he goes, no, you get your butt up. Oh, like, yeah. oh my gosh. Yeah, you don't want to leave the butt. Okay, <laughs> yeah, that was the butt. No, that needs but, to be on the record. It needs to be on all the records. The record, but they were like, get your butt up. <laughs> it wasn't even a good line. Oh my gosh. Anyways. 
So yeah, he was about to get to get yeah. uh, French, yeah. you know, if you if you if you know what I mean from yeah. Napoleon, like uh -huh. beat the crap out of Robespierre. Anyways, it was about to get real there, but then but then uh, Bernard Sanders, no, 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 you are United States senator. Stop, stop, stop. Oh my god. <laughs> so, so, so yeah. So I'm feeling great about the U.S. government today. <laughs> uh, it's just, oh my it's gosh. just funny. Anyways. Yeah. Um, in other news, this is not fun, funny at all. Taylor Swift's Eras tour is in Brazil right now. They're in the middle I of a huge heat wave. I don't think at this point. Oh, um, yeah, maybe she left. I she, don't know. She, I, I was checking, <coughs> I was checking uh, uh, her tickets. Not because I want to buy, uh, but because I was checking when were the shows were in Brazil. Mm. And, uh, no, when, actually. Where. I wanted to know, I wanted to know the stadium mm -hmm. because Maracanã it used to be the biggest stadium on the planet. Like 200,000 people. Okay. But uh, it wasn't there. It wasn't the stage they built for, <coughs> for the Olympics, mm. for the World Cup. Uh, uh, but anyways, and then on the list was like next next stop would be Tokyo, so she would be straight oh, okay. going to Japan. But anyways, she was doing the, the tour there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there's a big heat wave, and and one of her fans actually ended up dying. You've probably heard this unless you live under and a rock. There was like thousands of people passed away, something like or that. Or passing out, not. Passing, passing out. Yeah, sorry, yeah. Sorry, not passing. Yeah, like because you know they were waiting outside to get into the venue, but then like the the venue wouldn't let them bring in their water, and vendors weren't able to get to everybody, especially people at the front. And this girl passed out and ended up going into cardiac arrest and dying, which is just it's so sad. Yeah. Um, and it really like it. Taylor really took it took it to heart There's took it even personally some clips that show Taylor, Taylor like uh, lo losing breath yeah which I mean singing and dancing and do everything she does and it was hot so yeah she she, yeah. she, she felt too anyways they cancel they cancel one show mm -hmm. and they re she postponed the show re reschedule and they try to accommodate things in a better way mm -hmm. but uh funny thing that happened about it was uh, uh, Joe Biden, <laughs> I'm a joke of a president, uh, yeah. that uh, he, with the brains that stopped working <laughs> 20 years ago, uh, he mentioned the fact saying that, oh, it's like, oh, it like the Renaissance tour, uh, the, the Britney it's tour. It's the Harris tour. The, the Renaissance tour with uh, the Britney tour in Brazil. It's Taylor Swift. <laughs> <laughs> so just a, a funny bit yeah. about Joe Biden because there's like one every day. Honestly, at this point, I was, <laughs> my first reaction was like, oh my gosh, she knows about that. Like, yeah. she's aware of a current event. Oh, someone oh. told him. And, and, he, and he managed to screw up, like, everything else. <laughs> anyway, again, so thrilled <sighs> with the state of our government. Uh, okay, speaking of being thrilled about things, let's talk about what's wrong at Disney. This is that, that part of the show. Like, oh, we, don't, yeah. we don't plan it. It's just like Disney's it's, so yeah. big. It's all over the news every week. There's like something every week. Yeah. Like, oh my gosh. So Marvel was crashing the box office on the first week, and it has yeah. the worst Monday, and then uh, the, 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 the the and then had the, the following week, and it has the worst drop. Uh, because it's natural from first week mm -hmm. to the second week to drop. Yeah, there's always the drop. And, and, the, and the, but it had the worst. Um, mm -hmm. and uh, some revelations about the movie and, uh, and I, th I think this is a bit of uh, damage control you're talking about this one right? yeah yeah, yeah. a bit of damage control was like Ooh, we failed but well, let's try to get into the into the walk wagon into the jumping to get some some uh, uh, Kevin Feige style of uh, oh is that, that kid with Tony Stark yeah yeah. yes it is so uh, if if there was like a lot of people cogitated that uh, cogitated is the word yes okay. cogitated that uh, once they watched but now it was reviewed or was reviewed because it was cogitated that the scene between uh, Captain Marvel, Cara Danvers, and the Queen of Osgard, uh, Valkyrie, mm -hmm. uh, they were actually had a relationship in the past. Yeah, and there was even a line there to support that. It's like we work mm -hmm. better. Uh, as friends. Yeah. I, Anyways. But more more to Disney and this one is sad news is that uh, a man jumped to death at Disneyland. He killed himself. He jumped and is the third part suicide in less than a year. Yeah. Which is like it's so sad. Like how bad of a place do you have to be in to end it all at Disney? Like to end it all, period, but it, like, oh, man. 
Yeah. That's so bad for him and everybody yeah. around him. Like that's just really sad. Yeah. So our hearts definitely go out to his family. And I mean, he may, maybe. It, I mean, sure, but maybe it's the opposite. Maybe it's like, I don't know, cancer. I I don't know details about this person, but mm-hmm. cancer terminal patient. Uh, that person's gonna die, so he's gonna die on his favorite place. There's a lot of people that uh, uh, propose there. There's a lot of people that uh, actually is forbidden, but but to scatter ashes, discard ashes yeah. at the park. So there's a lot of like weird stuff going on there. Disney makes sure. They, they, they work hard so that doesn't... They work become, so hard to become, keep everything yes. pretty there. But there's but there's, there's a documentary, the guy shot there, about all this weirdness uh, mm-hmm. uh, that happens there. Uh, anyways, but yeah. Yeah. Um, Tim Allen says that Disney's reached out to him and Tom Hanks for Toy Story 5. If anything, that's good news, considering that they should do that for Buzz Lightyear. Oh, maybe they did. Well, and Tim Allen says, like, screw it. I'm not going to get involved. I can't remember. Smart yeah. No, he, he said they never They, they never talk talked to him. him. Yeah. But if they, if they would, uh, in reading the script, it's, this uh-huh. is not boss. I'm out. Or Patrick Warburton, because Patrick Warburton That's true. voiced him in the animation. The animation. And Buzz Lightyear yeah. Starkman was actually a pretty yeah. great series. Yeah. I caught was it caught? Buzz Lightyear Starkman. Okay. It was very fun. Actually, I didn't know Green Lantern at the time, but looking back, it was like very, like strong Green Lantern vibes. Cause, like it wasn't just humans. Oh, they have like the bunch the, of like aliens, and they're out like protecting. It wasn't just humans. Oh, or in Star Command, like cool. there are a bunch of aliens and like, you know, like, yeah, going out and protecting the galaxy. Like, but, yeah, it's, like again, Disney blowing mm-hmm. it with source material. Anyway, so all that leading up to this, <coughs> Iger revealed that ESPN is more important for Disney's bottom line than their whole entertainment business. And it's so interesting. And it's so interesting because ESPN is sports, so there's all sorts of... There's uh, a lot of money in it. And there's all sorts of audiences. But a lot of the big sports are, you know, some some very conservative audiences, you know, football, baseball, and Mm. all that. And and I guess that's that's why they, they put the world on entertainment because... It, it theoretically is the other side they don't care anything anything yeah not anything anyways yeah yeah uh, uh, um, some, hold some on i put some stuff out of order here okay this i don't know oh, okay okay okay, okay. Go ahead. Okay. um take away td says his star wars film will quote piss people off which, which i which i, I uh, why would you go for that which, which i say which i say which i uh, uh my first reaction i know that he the reaction he wanted was was the one uh, you, you had and you you are about to talk about, uh, but my first reaction was like, that's not even creative at all because well the last ones pissed a lot of people yeah. off. So uh, what's news? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but yeah, that's a, that's all he said. You don't know. I don't know. I I personally am not a fan of art. That's I I get that like. This Our ma- pieces, literature, mass cinema media. can this be. This is mass media. It's made to sell. Why? Well, how are you trying to sell stuff? It's like, hey, don't buy this. You basically say, don't buy this. Mm-hmm. And yeah. It's but I was stupid. like, I feel like there needs to be a point. If you're just like trying to make people mad, or if you know you're going to make people mad, like you need to have something else there with it. Like, are you sharing an important message? Are you doing something like valuable and worthwhile that's just like kind of controversial? Or yeah. Are you just like poking the bear? You, 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 if you're pissing people by, I don't know, killing, killing a, a major character uh, <coughs> on a tragic way, mm-hmm. but if you're doing, it's clear that you're doing because uh, you want to piss people, not because you want to yeah. use a character for telling story, important story. Anyways, yeah. Casey Ridley was also on the news talking about the new Star Wars movie she'll be involved in. She said it was it's very different than I thought, it's very important. And I'm pretty sure people gonna like it. Uh, sure, said nothing, know. and probably means nothing. In this case, the bar is quite low. Yeah. So, um, at least it is for me. Okay, let's look at DC for a minute. We've had some very interesting. To Disney. Oh, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Dave oh my gosh, Filoni how can I forget? Was uh, named COO, CO, CCO, CCO of Lucasfilm. Mm-hmm. So he's on the top there. He's still answered to Kathleen Kennedy. Uh, but it's good for him. He's mm-hmm. been doing a lot for Star Wars, even though uh, his experience on, on, on live action with Ahsoka was not... Uh, what uh, ideal. Yeah, 
but Clone Wars Rebels, and he learned from Lucas, and, and yeah. Lucas to visit him. He did, he's doing terrific with the Mandalorian. So it 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 it's yeah. it's a good it's a good person to be there. He seems a more natural heir. Yeah. To Lucasfilm. Okay, now let's go to DC. Some interesting casting announcements for Superman, Superman movie Legacy. Mm-hmm. Uh, the 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 flagship beginning or end of of the new the DC James universe Gunn, I don't know. by James Gunn. Uh, it was announced. That it was a couple casting casting uh, choices announced this uh, mm-hmm. this this past week. Uh, the major one, Lex Luthor, is gonna be Nicholas Holt, mm-hmm. a talented actor. Yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah. Okay. So, so we'll see. Another ones uh, include one of the villains or the villain, the engineer. It's it's a girl. I can't remember her name. Mm. Latina, I think, or from Latin orientation origin uh uh miss Tashmacker, also i think she's latina as well hmm. uh but the ones that uh, fans are liking and, and are surprised is jimmy olsen yeah the classic look for jimmy olsen red hair white people was like what freckles what Bit of a doofus, but in like a really lovable and way. The kid is the actor. Yeah. Is, he's from. He's on the uh, Righteous Gemstones. He was in uh-huh. Santa Clarita Diet. The Skyler, can't remember his name. Yeah. But uh, uh, people are like, so, so, so yeah. some of the more conservative uh, 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 book uh, uh, bounding uh, fans is like, what? That's that's like that just look just like Jimmy Olsen. This is white. Yes, yeah. I mean, what are they going to do? Are they going to make him gay or something? like? <laughs> Even though he's like fully an adult now, like his voice has this quality where it sounds like yeah. it's about to crack. Like, yeah. it's perfect casting. Superman's Paul, yeah. Like, this is OG Jimmy Olsen. Uh-huh. And I so, am, as skeptical yeah. as I am about the film, like, I personally am quite yeah. delighted. Yeah, but I mean, it, it, it might be, I don't know. Uh, I, we'll see. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We'll find out. Okay. Uh, some sad news, and then we'll get back to the pop culture stuff. Jamie Foxx has been sued for sexual assault. Ah. Oh. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's Hollywood, it's like it's news, but it's not even news. It's, yeah. It's bad. Anyways. Uh, uh, a couple, uh, the, the Israel-Hamas uh, uh, conflict, uh, it's, it's bringing some anti-Semites to the, to the, to the main stage. Susan Sarandon was dropped by UTA following her pro-Palestine remarks. Mm-hmm. Uh, so was Melissa Barra. From, she was dropped from uh, Scream. She was on Scream That's 6. Right. And, uh, she's not going to be on 7. So she was dropped for, 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 for uh, anti-Semite uh, comments. And uh, Jennifer Ortega, also on Scream, uh, got out of the movie, and some people claim, "Oh, she's so in support." No, she's uh, actually dead because uh, conflict of scheduling with Wednesday. She's gonna uh, start the Netflix show, the second season, mm-hmm. so that's why. But yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Being Tim Burton's current favorite is definitely much oh, better career move. Yeah, you should. Uh huh. Then scream. No offense to the franchise. Um, okay. I mean, I think the franchise lost quite a lot when they didn't want to pay Neef Campo to come back. So, yeah. Uh, Matt Rife has a Netflix special debuted as the second most watched TV program. Yeah, on, so, on, on Netflix. On Netflix. And uh, there's apparently, there's a, a first joke is about some domestic violence, which yeah, is causing controversy. Yeah, it's not great. I don't it's know not the joke. Do you know the joke? You know the joke? Um, I only heard I, 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 something about how, like, she would be a better cook if she didn't have a black eye, or she wouldn't have a black eye if she was a better cook. Okay. It's, like, really, it's one of those, like, it's not even funny enough I to know. warrant crossing the line. I have to see him deliver because you're delivering. I'm sorry. It wasn't funny. Fair enough. Um, but also, domestic abuse isn't funny. So, there's that. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. Well, yeah. well, we might see it and we come to talk about it, but it's super, yeah. super watched. So, so, uh, mm-hmm. yeah. Also getting a lot of attention and love is NCIS Sydney. It's the most streamed CBS series on Paramount+. Plus. Yeah. I suspect we owe a lot of that to the retirement community. Yeah. Do they NCIS like is so popular among the 
older and wiser. Is it? Part of our generation. Oh, yeah. I wonder why. I, I don't know. Maybe it's like the whole conservative values thing or like it's, it's, it's it started that. out with like a silver fox. Oh, yeah, because it's like, it's like military and like we love America and... Um, yeah. it, it's, it's a great, I haven't seen NCIS Sydney. I mean, it is CBS. I watched a lot of, yeah, I watched a lot of the original. Um, it's, they had a great cast of characters, including this like super goth alternative, uh, lab tech that like, it was so cute. How many like grandpas and grandmas were like, we just love Abby. And uh, she has like crazy tattoos and like piercings got, and everything. She even got her own show. I mean, not <coughs> not the NTIS, but the actress got mm-hmm. her own show, a sitcom. It, it felt, uh, it didn't, it, it, it took did, a launch. Yeah. But, you know, you know yeah. her fame help, helped her, but the show, she got it. But yeah. it, it like, it's so cute. My, my grandparents included, who are like so conservative. But Abby would be like, I sleep in a coffin. And they're like, we love her. Like, She's so wholesome. Anyway, okay. yeah, old people in NCIS. Okay. It's adorable. Okay. Talk about old people in CBS shows. Yeah. Blue Bloods will end uh, on season 14. So you lady, you old mm-hmm. lady, uh, they're like, the mustache. That's right. The famous mustache. It's your last chance. <laughs> yeah. Boy, Tom Selleck, one of the great mustaches of our time. Miracle Workers has been canceled at TBS. After the four seasons, yeah. uh, uh, you know, uh, after okay. after the after the we didn't see the four season yet. It's about the end of the world, so mm-hmm. maybe it's a good time to end. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, also, also, you know, after the strike, things, you know, things are taking shape and the adjustments and you're going to see cancellations of shows that shouldn't be canceled. Yeah. But yeah, we'll see. But I'd rather it end while it's good. Um, Black Mirror got renewed for season of course, seven. Of course, there's the rumors that Daniel Radcliffe might be Wolverine. So, but again, that's all rumors for now. Interesting. But yeah, Black Mirror renewed for mm-hmm. season seven. Yeah. We're still behind. We still have to watch the show. I heard yeah. it's good. I've heard very good things. Weird. Uh, so that? yeah, we'll see. Okay, this is like earth shattering, so make sure you're sitting down, buckle up, maybe pull over if you're driving. Family Guy is leaving Sunday night. Wow, that's big. Yeah. They, they there for forever, right? Yeah, to almost two decades. Almost 20 years. So like not Simpsons yeah. level, but close. Yeah, yeah. But, it, but, but yeah, let's see what happens because the fans of Family Guy are loyal. And yes. they made some rev- revolutionary move- movements uh, throughout the days. This show was canceled after, I think, That's right. five like, seasons. Yeah, not very long. Yeah. And the fans uh, responded with their pockets. They bought That's right. DVDs. I think it was, it was VHS. I can't remember. They bought the home home version. Yeah. Uh, uh, they bought so much that it, it showed the the corporation. It showed the studios. That's like, hey, we, we can we can't cancel that. Yeah. Right. So yeah. so they 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 brought the show back and the show remained until now for mm-hmm. seasons and seasons. Another moment that happened was when Brian was killed. That's right. A very tragic, very dark episode. Very fast. Yeah. Oh wow! They really killed him. Yeah. And they really, and they brought the uh, replacement dog, and 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 the fans demanded, and they brought Brian yeah. back, and Brian's dad to stay. Mm-hmm. And now they change the slots. Let's see what the fan says about that. Yeah, I I don't know. I don't know. Um, okay, they've announced a new Karate Kid movie starring both Ma- Ralph Macchio and Jackie Chan. Yeah, the the original and the reboot remake. No, no remake reboot. Yeah. Uh, and this time they they show uh, they appear in the clip together saying that they're gonna uh, go around the planet to cast the new Karate Kid. Yep. Uh, it could be from anywhere, which is very interesting, very mm-hmm. fun uh, strategy. And heavy macchio there, it, it brings the nostalgia uh, from the original, the, the cool feelings, and connecting to movies. I, I think it's smart. Uh, uh, as long as they don't bring Jaden back, it should be cool. I would agree with that. I have not <laughs> seen the Jackie Chan Karate Kid, more accurately, perhaps called Kung Fu Kid. I haven't seen it. But having Ralph Macchio there, like, I, oh, I think and it's then a great on, the wave, on the wave of. Uh, Cobra Kai, yeah. if they connect to Cobra Kai and have some Cobra Kai characters oh that all together would be awesome. Oh, if Johnny could get involved, I would, I would lose my mind. 
that that like that whole franchise like it doesn't have any business being a franchise why is it so good i don't know but karate kid is one of i think the best movies ever it's so good anyway i look forward to having more of that okay the office co-creator says that maybe a spin-off is more likely than a full reboot yeah which seems like a good call yeah i mean it's it's i don't know i mean it, it felt like as soon as the strike was over, so a reboot for the office. I was like, ah, oh, come on, man. It yeah. kind of feels like a trap, and and now they saying they're gonna be. We'll see. Yeah, and also like like, I don't know. I feel like you you can't remake that that magic. No remake, reboot, right? Yeah. Well, I know. Oh. Yeah, like reboot. Oh, falling up. I don't know. I think it's better to move on. Yeah. I'd rather I'd rather and see again, a, a and again, spin-off. It's it's like when when you when you pick something in the, in you in you you prove on and you, you make a mess, screw it. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like they cannot do what they did in the office. Mm-hmm. They are afraid. They will not do this. So that's what she said. Really? Yeah. 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 Right. Come Can on. Can you imagine my writing a Michael Scott? It's not gonna happen. <laughs> uh, yeah, so not to mention like that particular like conglomerate like uh, bringing together like talent and like Steve Carell and Rain Wilson and John Krasinski like and, and and like everybody else too like contributed so much but like that was there's just some like magic moments that happen and sometimes you have to just acknowledge like yeah. that was a great moment and it passed and now we need to make other things yeah um oh Dune Part Two. Keeps getting moved around. Yeah, this time was a good move. It was yeah. moved from the end of March to the beginning of March. Okay. So, yeah. You say it's a good move. That just means I have less time to reread that massive book. Well, you, so. you had plenty of time. No, no, don't say that. It was, it was like, it was canceled from November. I know. To March. And it was canceled like, what, three months ago. I can't, but I have, I'm so, you I'm so it. behind. It okay, um, Ardman, this is the studio that brought us Wallace and Gromit and um, Chicken Run and other delightful films, they're running out of clay, which yeah. seems weird to me. Like, Yeah, it's a, the company that provides clay, I think they went down, they closed, so they have the clay they oh, have. They have the clay okay. they have, but they don't have more. Okay, so yeah. like it's, they're very specific, very special. Oh yeah, of course, they, okay. they only work with the best clay. I don't know, it's like, guys, just like go to From Michael. the body of know. Clayface. Oh. Yeah, that's what Batman fans. That's why it's so... <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Oh, Harley Quinn fans. Wallace, Wallace <laughs> and Gromit is such... I need to show this to the girls. Those are such I good never, movies. A clay vision for me is, is, is always kind of weird. I never thought it was like... Suspense, suspense, suspense of disbelief is zero. If anything, is like... Ugh, it's just like... Ugh. Like, they're so funny. It's like the Max originals, Steel. like the 30-minute ones. They did a couple feature length, which, which are good. But there's something really special about those it's first a, ones. It's like Max Steel, the, mm. the, 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 the 3D computer graphic animations mm. uh, on, the, on the beginning. These wars too, it's kind of mm-hmm. weird. When they announced Clone Wars would be that, it's like, oh crap. Fortunately, they went a different route. Yeah. A little bit better. Anyways. Yeah. Uh, 31,000 year old arsenal of long range uh, spears were found. Yeah. So and this is special because the the these spears are about ten thousand years older than what we previously thought were the oldest spears. So this is showing that they were found in Belgium, and this is showing that like humans had figured out how to make and use spears like ten thousand years earlier than we thought. Yeah, those spears, those old oh, Britain spears. I mean, uh-huh. I'm on Joe Biden's mind. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. Too many levels. See? <laughs> Anyways, Good job, babe. Good job. last but not least, if you're stressed and you want to play video game to relax, there's some that you should avoid. Yeah, Mario Kart, after careful study using experienced gamers, <laughs> Mario Kart was found to be the most stressful game. They measured people's heart rates, and Mario Kart raised these gamers' heart rates more than any other game. Including Call of Duty. Yeah, which yeah. was a close third. Yes. What was the second? FIFA. Oh, soccer. Okay. Yeah. So Mario Kart, FIFA, Call of Duty, uh, Fortnite, I think. Fortnite. Was okay. up there, yeah. yeah. Um, if you want to relax, um, Animal Crossing, Sims, and Skyrim lowered people's heart rates. Really? Yeah. But Mario Kart, like, that's a, that's a special game. Yeah. 
<coughs> not for the faint of heart. No. Yeah. No. Jump in the car, grab your your uh, yeah. red red shells and your banana peels, and go do it. Never yeah. improvise. I wish I could remember the line of the movie. It's a good one. Anyways, that's it for this week. Yeah. Uh, tomorrow is Thanksgiving, so happy Thanksgiving mm -hmm. to y'all. Uh, we are grateful. We give our thanks for yes. everyone who listens, subscribes, follows, comments, all that other good stuff. Yes. And uh, we come back next week. Uh, we, what are we going to say next week? Uh, I don't remember. Oh, I think you're going to see The Hunger Games, The Ballad oh, yeah. of Songbirds and Yellow Snow White, and whatever. And Snakes and Ice and Fire. Yeah. The, the, the prequels yeah. for Songbirds Hunger for Hunger Games. Yeah. Yes. Whew. Anyways. Uh, and uh, among other things, uh, uh, there's, a, there's a new Netflix movie that we want to see. There's a new Good Burger movie yes. we want to see. Uh, so we come back with all that and more. Of pop culture news entertainment. Happy Thanksgiving. May the force be with you. Live long and prosper. Bye. Bye.